Hey INTPs, I know, it's hardly the case that all INTPs can be described as gifted. Still, many INTPs identify as gifted or were described as gifted growing up. So, in this video I want to talk about why gifted people might burn out and how INTPs might experience their own intelligence. Now the truth is, we're all intelligent in some ways. We all tend to have different aptitudes and skills and talents. That means even if you are smart in a certain arena, you can still struggle in other arenas. And the fact is, often when we compare and measure our own intelligence, we do so in a subjective manner. That means we compare our degree of intelligence to the skill or the challenge that we are faced with. That means we have expectations about how quickly we need to be able to solve a problem, how fast we need to learn something, and how well we are supposed to solve this issue at hand. So if a challenge is overwhelming, it's easy to feel stupid, to feel like, oh, I'm wrong or I'm bad or I'm not good enough. That means often the more difficulties that you're faced with, the more stupid you feel and the easier you make things for yourself, the smarter you feel. This is also why people can sometimes overrate their own intelligence. Perhaps it's just that you're making things easy for yourself and because you're making things easy for yourself you feel smarter, you feel more talented and you feel more gifted. You learn easily but that's only because you focus on shallow subjects and because you try to keep things easy. Other people might measure their intelligence relative to other people and here we can have different expectations on how smart we're supposed to be. If we're intelligent perhaps we might get told by our parents or our teachers that we're supposed to use our intelligence for something. With great power, it said, comes great responsibility. And because of this, it's easy to feel like as a gifted person that, oh, I'm supposed to be super smart. I'm supposed to be the next Tesla, the next Albert Einstein, the next Carl Jung. But the truth is, you know, you don't have to be. And the truth is, why should you have to be? <laughs> Shouldn't it be just okay if you end up being just as good as anyone else? Why should you want to be more than anyone else? Why should you want to be the best person in the world? The truth is, if you want to, you can also choose to be average, choose to stay where you are right now. You can choose to keep life at the, uh, at the average. You can choose to stay, settle for bees in school or for being just a normal worker, doing their normal hours and putting in the normal amount of effort. The truth is you don't have to be good at everything you do, but often gifted people tend to feel like they're supposed to be good at everything or even amazing at everything they do. So intelligent people might grow up with perfectionistic expectations. In school they have to have the perfect grade and they have to do and overdo and exceed their teacher's expectations, doing even better than what the teacher wants. At work they have to perform more than other co-workers uh, do more tasks and do the tasks better than anyone else. All of these things can lead to people becoming burnt out. The truth is, the smarter you try to be, the more stupid you become. Over time, you'll notice that the more you try to be good at something, the more tired you become. And if you can't allow your brain to rest, if you feel like you constantly have to be on, constantly have to be the smartest person in the room, constantly have to be the best person at every single task, your brain is going to hit overload. And the truth is, no matter how intelligent you are, you have limits. And if you start exceeding those limits consistently over time, you're noticing that you're going to attract an unhealthy amount of stress. And the truth is, sometimes when you try to measure intelligence of a person, when you try to take an IQ test, and when you try to put a challenge on a person who is overloaded, who is tired, who is drained, they'll perform worse than what they normally would. Yeah, the more tired you are, the stupider you're going to feel because your brain has hit its peak and has been running at peak capacity for too long. Often, this is a sign that you should take a rest. But gifted people might feel that, oh, I'm getting stupider and stupider and I'm starting to struggle and I'm starting to do worse and worse in school and I'm starting to do worse and worse at my work. And so it can be easy to feel like, you know, you have to do even more. I'm starting to struggle at school, so I have to study even harder to make up for it. I'm starting to struggle at work, so I am going to have to work an extra shift to make up for it. But the truth is, this is a, a self-destructive spiral because you're just burning out your brain at a faster pace and eventually you hit the point where you simply can't go on anymore. And you end up feeling like you're a failure. You might feel like, oh, 
yeah, this is proof I wasn't smart at all. I was just stupid all along and I was just a failure and I wasn't really good enough. But here, you gotta check your expectations. Here, you gotta sit down and be a bit more kind to yourself. Yeah, you have to have a more fair and realistic expectation for yourself. Just as other people are allowed to have bad days or are allowed to struggle or are allowed to rest. Just as other kids in school are allowed to play and have fun and take it easy. You, as a gifted person, have a right to just do things for fun, just to recharge, or just to, because it's nice. <laughs> you shouldn't feel like you have to work more than anyone else, or do more than anyone else, just because you're gifted. The truth is, we all have the same amount of hours in a day, and ideally a healthy person isn't only going to be blindly ambitious, but is also going to allow themselves to have playtime, downtime, rest time, and just time to just be. So, are you really being fair to yourself or are you expecting too much? Do you allow yourself to rest and to take breaks and do you allow yourself to have fun? The truth is, if you take the moment to sit down with yourself for a bit and if you allow yourself to rest and if you allow yourself to get rid of some of that stress, it's going to get easier. Sure, your tasks might suffer in the short term. Sure, you might miss out on something that you wanted to do, but the truth is, it happens to the best of us. We can't all be great all the time and we all miss things once in a while. So what are your experiences? Did you ever feel gifted as an INTP and how do you connect to intelligence? Do you feel like you're intelligent or do you feel stupid? Do you feel a bit burnt out? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching.